James will reset now. You see Boris Diaw, the third player already to guard LeBron James here in the first quarter. And this is that tough, tough matchup. Blows by him. Running shot misses. He thought he got hit. And that's two on Wade. Diaw fearless. Parker kicks it out. Diaw for three. Boris Diaw didn't play a second in game three. Instantly contribute. Oh. Find some room. Shot blocked by Leonard. Spurs can hold it for the final shot. Diaz going to go in for the layup, and the game is tied. Game three because of the terrific three-point shooting. But here in game four, he's been outstanding. And how about Boris Diaw starting the second half? Again, he didn't play well in game two, so he didn't play a second in game three. But some important minutes in the second quarter and starts the third. And starts guarding Dwayne Wade. Wade has had the big first half, but he has struggled in the second half of the series. It's in that first half and played well. Wade throws it right to Wade. Wade goes to D out, misses the layup, James the rebound, missed the left hander. Ball knocked loose and picked up by Green. But why are there three Miami Heat players not crossing half court and getting into the fight after James misses? Duncan, nice feed to Diaw. Boris Diaw, always a smart player. Moving without the basketball, the Spurs up by two. This is the NBA Finals. Diaw into Duncan. Duncan with the left hand. TV guy might not have seen it, but the officials know they have to go to review it the first time out. Okay, Mike. Even on makes, they want to push. Duncan doubled. Foul. Shot won't go. Good entry pass from Diaw. And the high lows available. Very few players can make the pass Diaw just made. He saw the play before the play was open. One for two. Seven early points for Tim Duncan. And Boris Diaw on LeBron James. Pull up two-pointer. Too strong. Higher than game five of the NBA Finals tied at two. As James has to put it up. And misses that jumper. Of course, too strong. Diaw tips it to himself. Pass to Leonard. Nearly stolen by James, but the gamble a costly one. And Leonard throws it down. 12 straight points. And a 20-second timeout called by the Heat. A superb start for San Antonio. 61% shooting, pushing the pace. And they're on a 12-0-1 right now. Remember, in game four, they had an early 10-point lead. But good loose ball play by Diaw. His best trade is his passing. A hook bounce pass to the cutting as hard as after misses. Great push after that made three by Battier. Chalmers blocked by Diaw. Now to touch it to Danny Green immediately. Turning down his own three-point shot to get Danny Green his 20th. Oh, you, you just sound like all the Simpson officials all the time. James misses. There wasn't someone else. So I'm going to say there is, and I'm going to say it's San Antonio. Game of the finals. James drives a D out. Good defense. James has to pull up for the jumper. Excellent defense by D out. For Neal and Splitter. He catches the first move and makes James take a little eight-footer versus giving up an angle to the rim, a layup, free throws. Terrific defense by Diaz. And this is a 17-1 run going back to the third quarter. James barrels in, shot short, gets his rebound. Back up. That won't go. Diaz tips it out, picked up by Leonard. By 19, their defense on LeBron James. Here in the second half, very strong. As James just won for his last nine from the field. Lots of Morris Diaw in early guarding LeBron James. He did an excellent job against him. Ball deflected by Leonard. Diaw, excellent job in game five in the second half against LeBron James. Diaw drives down the lane, takes his time, and banks it in. LeBron and a four-point lead for San Antonio. And a most unusual matchup. Boris Diaw 
a little on the heavy side, a power forward as James attacks and draws the contact. That matchup has been good for them, for the Spurs. And Greg Popovich reminded us of how well Diaw played James in the game where San Antonio was fined $250,000 for not playing their star players. And Danny Green went home. You see Diaw didn't play at all in game three, but he's given good minutes the last two. But it's amazing how you can get a little bit of information from a regular season game on a matchup and use it at such a critical time. Let's do what we do. The juice is great. Let's go. That word pace has become his favorite word the past week. Bosch inside. Good defense from Diaw to deflect it out of bounds. San Antonio, they're shooting 61% from the field there in the first quarter. And they're trailing. James, by in the back. Out to Allen. Allen. James corrals it back up. Blocked at the buzzer as the first quarter comes to an end. What a sequence by Boris Diaw defensively. The individual defense to start the possession, the block to end the possession. They're playing him with a cushion, and he is not getting the shots right now that he feels comfortable with. Look at Diaw, contains the ball, contests Allen, and then comes back to block LeBron James's shot to finish the first quarter. Again, the cushion, James gets to a pretty good spot, misses a makeable shot, and then finally, Again, look at the cushion, the space. But Mike. He has been so good offensively. Diaw back on James. James flips it up. Danny Green comes in. We've seen the games in these finals change with big runs at the end of quarters. LeBron James off the mark. Diaw, what a pass to Duncan. And the Spurs regain the lead. Boris Diaw with a gorgeous feed. Duncan has 25. And their last 13. And since his DNP, Boris Diaw has played very good basketball for San Antonio. Forces James to pass there. Bosch can't hit. You forget how good a player Diaw is. One year was the most improved. One year in the playoffs with Phoenix, he averaged almost 19 a game when Amari Stoudemire was hurt. He was superb in those playoffs for the Phoenix Suns. Fakes, drives, flips it up and in. Boris Diaw puts the Spurs up by four. Tony Parker's high school buddy, who was so pleased to be signed by San Antonio. Wade flips it out. James. To me. You keep him in the game. James can't connect. Wade to James. Powers in. Shot won't go. The other player looked that way as we wind down the shot clock. Two to shoot. James turns around. Way short. Leonard the rebound. Diaw has consistently guarded James well. Look at the big cushion. Then the back end. Diaw's a big body. Forces the fade with little contest, but he gets the desired result, which is to force James to shoot the ball over the top. Boris Diaw will try a three. That's good, Boris Diaw from downtown. Yeah, that's only his fifth three-pointer of the playoffs. Nice entry pass to Duncan, and the Spurs regain the lead. And because Diaw made the three, they charged at him and opened up his best skill, which is the pass. High low to Duncan off a great seal and the layup. And Mike, San Antonio looked like they were teetering right there. They regathered themselves with a big time three and Boris Diaw, tremendous high low pass to Tim Duncan. And Diaw with a three pointer before that. Some big minutes here for Boris Diaz. Spurs up one, two and a half to play here in game.